So let's find the base and height on a triangle. So we have a triangle here. We know a triangle has three sides. And what they're asking you for, it says the base of the triangle is labeled below. So here we have the base, which is right here, from here to here. So which line segment shows the height of the triangle? Well, the thing that you have to know about the height is that the height is always perpendicular to the base, which means it will always make a right angle with the base. So with that in mind, I'm looking for, I have A, which is right here, from here to here. I have B from here to here. And C is from this point to here. Okay, so here's A, here's B, and then here's C. Now, the only, if the base is right here, I'm looking for the right angle, which is right here, which would mean that the base would have, to, I'm sorry, the height would be perpendicular, which is B, so my height is B. So again, the height of the triangle is labeled which segment shows the base. So again, in a triangle, the base and height will be perpendicular to each other. So if they're telling me that the height is right here, the base has to be the line that's perpendicular to it, which is this line right here. So the height would be A. The base of the triangle is labeled right here. Which line segment shows the height? I'm looking for my right angle, which is right there, which means that that is my height right there, and that is B. So this time, we're supposed to match the base to the corresponding height. Okay, so again, we got to keep in mind that the base and height for a triangle will always be perpendicular to each other. So for this first one, my base is right here. For the second one, the base is right here. And for the third one, the base is here. Okay, so I'm looking for the lines that are perpendicular to those original bases. So I can see, and I'm going to get rid of this now, this height right here wouldn't be right because they're saying that they're the same thing. But if I matched it right here, I have a base right here, base right here, and a height right here. So if I took that over, I would see that they are perpendicular to each other. So then for this one, if I put this one here, I'm going to put that back. If I put this one here, so if this is my height and this is my base, if I drew those figures on each other, I would see that I have, they're making a right angle. And then this makes sense because if I drew this height right here, you will see there that it makes a right angle, so there's my fit. So that's all you have to do, as long as you continue to recognize that the base and height of a triangle have to be perpendicular to each other. It takes no time to learn that process, because you need that to find the area. So I hope that helps. If it doesn't, reach out to me. Let's get it done.